So I had to come in, pick up a few things at Walmart, and I decided to look to see what kind of thread they carried. This is their thread rack. Lots of dual duty. All this dual duty here. Wow, look at all this dual duty. A lot of dual duty. I've always used this thread. I really like it. But let's do something different today. I want to do a video testing metallic threads on my Janome MC9900. So, what can we do? Let's see here. They've got one, two, three, four colors of metallic thread. Let's see. What do I want? Do I want the silver, the gold, the green gold? Well, let's see. It's bright gold, copper, silver, and gold. Hmm. Maybe I should try the copper today. Maybe I should try the copper. Let's see. Coats copper thread. There we go. Metallic. It says they're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's see where it's made. It says it's made in Japan. Ooh, this is made in Japan? It doesn't say made in Japan, it just says Japan. Polyester cotton. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's take this home and give it a shot. All right, let's talk about setup to get some metallic thread testing embroidery. Let's just do this test and see the success we're going to have. Now, as always for metallic thread, it's a top stitch needle. Now, I always invest in a lot of top stitch needles. I use Class A. This is Schmetz I'm using today. This is a whole box of them. I think there's a hundred of them in here. And um, they come in this pouch. If you're going to do a lot of sewing, it's actually more uh, economical to invest in a, a, a box like this. It really is. So, but if you don't do a lot, you can just do, you know, your little packets I don't have a packet with me but like here's an embroidery packet of, of class A here's a packet of Schmetz these are this isn't this is embroidery but you want top stitch for metallic thread top stitch for metallic thread okay I can't stress that enough top stitch for metallic threads and I'm using a size 14 and sometimes you can do a 16 as well if you're, if you're getting skip stitches or it doesn't seem to be doing very well, shoot up to a size 16. That's, that's what I have here. All right, But I'm going to use a 14 today. And as I talked about uh, in the video when I was at the store, you saw I purchased this thread, Coates & Clark Metallic Thread. You know, all the time you hear people tell you, Oh, don't use this brand. Don't use that brand. My dealer said this. My dealer said that. Well, i got to tell you something, guys. Every time a dealer tells you not to use a certain brand thread, they're demeaning the value of their product. They are demeaning the value of their sewing machine because they're telling you your sewing machine can't use that. Why are you spending all the money on it then? I mean, I had a $99 Singer sewing machine that could use any brand of thread. I have all these top of the line sewing machines in all these different brands that use metallic threads. So. Being that this is my newest addition to my sewing studio, this Janome MC9900, it's time to do the metallic thread test. And what better way to do it than on that thread that all the dealers are telling people, not all the dealers, some of the dealers are telling their customers not to use because that's what we see people writing on these Facebook groups. All right? I've always had success with every brand of thread. It's all in the setup, guys. It's all in the setup. Now, the easiest setup on this Janome. If you're using a spool of thread this size, or you're using the long skinny spools, this is a great setup. You can get this adapter for your bobbin winder that goes on. And then you see this? 
Janome used to sell this for when they had their miracle stitch uh, attachment and they put the spool of uh, invisible thread on here. You can still get this from your dealer. A progressive dealer will still have all these accessories. If not, you can go online, look on um, any place that sells parts for your brand machine. Uh, just look, but always search for your dealer first. This is wonderful because look how easy that moves. And that's what you want to do when you feed metallic thread, is you want the thread in a either a vertical position or you want it on the side that's going to feed out from the side. And on this machine, this is perfect because once this is on there, you're going to see, and I'll demonstrate later, how easy this glides off from the side. There are other notions that you can purchase for metallic thread, to hold a metallic thread. Uh, the one of them is um, this device that gets attached to your bobbin winder, and it pulls out from the side like this. This is called a thread director. Um, there are more expensive, more quality made devices for bigger spools um, by Martelli called the Quick Spin, K W I K Spin, um, where you can use those big economical cones of metallic threads and it feeds from the side. So there are all different setups, but the setup you always have to keep in mind for metallic thread is it has to be fed off from the side this way and it has to have like a ball bearing or loose type of device here where it's not going to be hung up. If it's not flowing gently from the side and there's resistance, you need to find a new setup. Now, or like I said, the thread director like this um, that goes on the side that would allow it to feed out from the side like this and if there's no resistance it's going to work fine okay all right standard bobbin thread uh, i'm sorry standard embroidery bobbin thread for embroidery janome makes their own here it is janome embroidery okay and then you have one called the finishing touch i got this with my um baby luck and you know to tell you the truth I think all these are made in the same factory I think they're all made by the same company they just put different labels on because brother even has one under their name so uh, I think I think they're all the same but there's, there has to be embroidery bobbin thread see that says embroidery and this says bobbin thread 100% polyester 60 weight this one does say made in Japan see and what does Janome say here Janome says made in Japan see and the brother one I know I used to have was made in Japan. So, you know, everybody shares the same factories and the same products. Yeah, yeah. This is Madeira. Madeira bobbin fill thread for embroidery. Where does this one say it's made? It doesn't say it's made anywhere. And this was just the numbers of the brand. I don't like when they don't say what they're made. Let me look here on the front. Nope, doesn't say where it's made. So we... Oh yeah, made in Germany. It was a hole here. Made in Germany. Okay, so this Bob and Phil Madeira thread is made in Germany. You can get Madeira thread at um, your sewing machine dealers. It's a good thread. This is the bobbin thread. All right, or you can also use pre-wound bobbins. Just make sure you get the right size. This is a class 15J pre-wound bobbin thread that you can put in here. That's what I'm going to use today. All right, so let's get started. All right, if you look at the screen, this is an embroidery design from my collection that used to be sold under Amazing Designs. And you can still get it out there, just probably on eBay. Or um, I think, um, oh, Sewing Machines Plus still carries it. It's called uh, Christopher Naaman Elegant Decor 1 by Amazing Designs. I have and every one of the designs in there is digitized for metallic thread. and. I had this set up, let me see, let me do the setup here. Go to setup here for embroidery, and uh, yeah, see it's set for 800 stitches a minute, but this automatically, if you look here, it automatically reduced itself to 500 stitches per minute, because that's the way it was, I guess that's the way it told, the digitizing told the, the software digitizer somehow was able to incorporate that to say 500 stitches per minute. So even though this machine can go up to 800 stitches per minute, a good quality design, embroidery design, will dictate what speed it should be at. All right? And then as I showed you earlier, we're going to go back up here. Here is that little attachment. You can see when I put that on here, look how easily that glides right off. I'm barely pulling it, people. And see, this is like a ball bearing here. 
and all metallic threads whether it's this kind of metallic thread or the sliver looking metallic thread looks like tinsel it all when you pull it from wherever it contraption notion you have it on to feed from it has to pull without any resistance and when it pulls without any resistance then you know you've got the right contraption now if you want to use the bigger cones of thread then you would get a martelli device that's on ball bearings okay and you can look them up martelli notions m-a-r-t-e-l-l-i notions they sell these um nice nice uh for metallic thread these big so you can put big spools on all right now i want you to watch my process how i embroider i'm going to fast forward so you can see the whole thing and you will see there is not one thread break through this whole process but i'm going to be doing it at fast speed so you're not you don't have to sit there for the whole how many minutes 22 minutes it's only going to be a couple minutes or even less of the embroidery and you will see through the whole thing that there was not one thread breakage. And that's because we have the proper setup. When you have the proper setup, the proper needle, and everything, you will have success. So let's get started, everybody. Okay. 